the entrance antiphon, Christ is mediator of a new covenant, so that by means of his death, those who are called may receive the promise of an eternal inheritance. Good morning. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. <clears throat> Lord, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, you came to call the sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to everlasting life. And let us pray. Pardon the offenses of your people, we pray, O Lord, and in your goodness set us free from the bonds of the sins that we have committed in our weakness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps you will be trapped. Then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble. They will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. Word of the Lord. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. I love you, O Lord, my strength, my Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praise be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. In my distress I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. The breakers of death surged round about me. The destroying floods overwhelmed me. The cords of the netherworld enmeshed me. The snares of death overtook me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried out to my God. From his temple, he heard my voice, and my cry to him reached his ears. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. Glory to you, word of God, the Lord Jesus Christ. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You are the words of everlasting life. Glory to you, word of God, the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. <clears throat> The Jews had picked up rock to stone Jesus, and Jesus answered them, 
I have shown you many good works from my Father, for which of these are you trying to stone me? The Jew answered him, We are not stoning you for a good work, but for blasphemy. You, a man, are making yourself God. And Jesus answered them, It is not written in your law, I said, you are gods. If he calls them gods to whom the word of God came and scripture cannot be set aside, can you say that the one whom the Father has consecrated and sent into the world blasphemes because he said, I am the Son of God? If uh, I do not perform my Father's works, do not believe in me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. And then they try again to arrest him, but he escaped from their power. And he went back across the Jordan to the place where John first baptized and there he remained. Many came to him and said, John performed no sign, but everything John said about this man was true. And many began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. As we approach the beginning of the Holy Week, the readings of the Gospel inviting us to follow Jesus' last day, they become more and more dramatic. And in today's Gospel reading, the drama relies on the fact that Jesus claims that by seeing his deeds, by hearing his uh, teachings and by seeing his way of living relating to creation, to others, and to God, he claims actually that he makes visible the Father. And that is uh, what is uh, a striking news for the Jews that pick up rocks to stone him. But at the same time, if um, it was and it sounded shocking for them, for us uh, it should uh, rather sound as uh, a powerful reminder of who we are called to become in our life and faith journey called to become icons, living icons of the Father. Which raises the question if in our daily, ordinary, most usual life, through our deeds, our speaking, our relating to others, the way that uh, we make choices and we say yeses and nos, simply in the way that we unfold our daily life, the question is those around us, can they see Christ in us? Can Can they be drawn closer to Christ? And uh, by being closer to Christ because of the claim that Jesus makes today, being uh, also closer to the Father. Can the people with which uh, we deal in any average day of our life see the Father because they see us? That's uh, who we are called to become. And that's uh, the powerful reminder of the readings of today. And uh, before uh, such a great and huge call, we all need 
to let God's grace to work within us. So to speak, we all have something of the old men, old women within us that needs to be restored, recreated, refreshed by God's word. A word that has, we have prayed or proclaimed in the refrain is spirit and life. God's words are words full of everlasting life. And because of that, they do have in themselves, for their very nature, the power of transforming us from within to without. Let us uh, offer this liturgy that uh, the word that uh, we hear probably on a daily basis may inspiring and guiding and enlightening more and more our lives to become more and more in the image and likeness of the Son and in so doing reflecting the image of the Father. And let us offer our prayers and petition to our Heavenly Father. For all members of the Church, may God continue to help us learn to die to ourselves and seek first the good of others. Let us pray to the Lord. For peace in our world, may the Holy Spirit imprint on our hearts God's transforming peace and love. Let us pray to the Lord. For families who suffer, for families who suffer discord, may God's mercy work in and through them to bring about reconciliation and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. For this faith community, may we be blessed with the fruits of the Spirit in our work and ministry. Let us pray to the Lord. And for all who have died, May they soon come to share in the fullness of Christ's glory. Let us pray to the Lord. And today's Mass is being celebrated for the intentions of the Slawex family. Let us pray to the Lord. And Heavenly Father, accept these prayers that we offer to you in the name of your Son and our Lord, Jesus the Christ. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we will receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vines, and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. And pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May 
and grant a merciful God that we may be worthy to serve ever fittingly at your altars and uh, there to be saved by constant participation through the Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty in our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ the crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest, blessed be who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son in the highest. And you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. And may holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus the Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. And do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, <clears throat> and therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Agdar, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus the Christ. And through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior command, and found by his divine teaching, we dare to pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, allow be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance to your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Amen. And let us offer each other a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. And behold, the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. The communion antiphon. Jesus bore our sins in his own body on the cross, so that dead to sin we might live for righteousness. By his wounds we have been healed.
Let us pray. May the unfailing protection of the sacrifice we have received never leave us, O Lord, and may it always drive far from us all that would do us harm. Through the Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May God bless you, who is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And let us go and remain in the peace of the Lord. Thanks. Have a nice day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. For the increase of hope, uh, faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The first sorrowful mystery is the agony in the garden, the fruit of the mystery is sorrow for sins. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The second sorrowful mystery is the scourging at the pillar. The fruit of the mystery is purity. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The third sorrowful mystery is the crowning with thorns. Fruit of the mystery is courage. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Fourth sorrowful mystery is the carrying of the cross. The fruit of the mystery is patience. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fifth sorrowful mystery is the crucifixion. Fruit of the mystery is perseverance. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our signs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn them, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Promises of Christ. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, there never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession, was left unneeded. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O virgins, O virgins, our mother, to you do we come, before thee we stand. Sinful and sorrowful, O mother of the word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer them. Amen. For the Pope's intentions and his health and for the indulgence. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the battle. Be our protection against the weakness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl around the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. May the sacred heart of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament be praised, adored, and loved with grateful affection at every moment in all the tabernacles of the world, even to the end of time. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.